No matter where you are in the world, a pinch spot with your car is a transitional space. Thanks for joining us on today's active self-protection lesson. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Johannesburg, South Africa. Whether you're transporting firearms, cameras, drones, or other valuable items, the Nook Professional Protected Cases are the best way to protect your equipment. You can see the guy with his hands up at the front of the car. So when the uh, video starts, this robbery is already in progress and they are robbing the guard shack here as well as the car. So you see it already in progress. One, one two carjackers come up, rip the door handle off the car, but do get the driver out. You see the driver run off there and just run away as fast as he can. Now the guy that's on the walkway there got shook down once by the first guy and the first guy runs off. Now you're going to see the second guy wondering where the heck did the driver go when he doesn't have anything more to do with him. He's going to come over and shake this guy who is walking, uh, I don't know, as a guard or whatever. Again, the other guy's going to run off. That's where this one ends. Lots of lessons to learn. Man, I'm sure glad that gate opened in time. If you appreciate the lessons you get here at Active Self Protection, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss a lesson. All right, it's lessons time. So first, let's think about the fact that this is, yes, a transitional space. Notice as well, every time your car is going to come to a stop, when your car is stopped, it is a transitional space, a place where people are normally coming and going, where an attack can be launched with a significant element of surprise, and bad guys can get away quickly. So when your car is stopped, pay attention to your world. Make sure that you see what's going on around you so that you have attention that buys you time and time buys you options. Now notice that first bad guy comes up and sticks the gun on the window, taps the glass with it. That's how we see carjackings go all the time. Now if you've got a heavily tinted window, you might be able to draw from that perspective because he may not be able to see you and get a shot off at him if you were armed. But if your window is not tinted and that guy's looking at you and tapping it, if you try to draw a gun, there's a good chance that he could shoot you. So give yourself every opportunity that you can. So that's why paying attention gives you a little more time. You see the guy coming with a, uh, a gun, you can get yours out before he can see you. But I want to notice a couple things. Number one, notice on the passenger side, the passenger side door is locked. I actually ripped the handle off the stinking door, which is pretty impressive, all things considered. But I want you to notice that that locked door represented time, and that time gave him the ability to get away. So if he just absolutely mashed the accelerator at this point, he probably has the ability to get out of the danger zone. So using the or vehicle is almost always your best bet. But the, the problem is, of course, they got his door open. Lock your dang doors. How many times do I have to say, lock your doors on your car when you're in it? Now, at the very least, the driver has the good sense to get the heck out of the vehicle and go, okay, man, you want the car, get on it. It's this South Africa, right? So the driver's side is the right-hand side of the car. Now, if your family's inside that car, if you've got loved ones in there, you're going to have to fight to the death, which is why we always say, I want you to carry the best tools that you can on your person and, and pay attention to your world, have attitude, skills, and plan. If you don't have a family in the car and this is just stuff or whatever, your car should be insured, your stuff inside should be insured. Your best bet, if they get the door open, is to get yourself as far away from it as fast as you possibly can. And our good guy does that. Notice there the victim, he doesn't just stand there and let them take the car. He bails out and runs as fast as he can. One of our principles of self-defense is get out of the danger zone. Now, the best way to get out of the danger zone, in my opinion, is use the vehicle because the vehicle is so much faster, gets you out of the danger zone more quickly. But given the fact that the, that the door of the car was unlocked and all those things, get out of the car and get the heck away from it. Don't just stand there and watch them because that leaves you in the danger zone. And you see how the bad guy uh, in this instance, when we walk through it the first time after our good guy ran off, comes back to see if he can rob this guy and, and steal any money in his pocket as well. You can see it right there. But the fact of the matter is the guy's gotten out of the danger zone. So that precludes that. So guys, recognize locking your car door is incredibly important. Paying attention in your vehicle, incredibly important. Understanding those transitional spaces, incredibly important. Getting out of the danger zone, incredibly important to cover your ass.